Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud. Love is never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable or touchy. Love does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoice whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them no matter what the costs. You will always believe in them, always expect the best in them, and will always stand your ground in defending them. Marissa, today is the day. Today is our day. We've talked and jumped for this for so long. Thank you for being the amazing person you are and for putting up with me. You are my world and I cannot wait to start this journey of life with you. Let's enjoy every minute of today. I cannot wait to see you. I know you are going to be absolutely stunning. I love you, Stephen. Dear Stephen, I can't believe the day I've been waiting for is finally here. It's been a long 13 years, but baby, you are more than worth the wait. I can't imagine my life without with anyone else but you. You're my high school sweetheart, my everything. I can't wait to have you have your babies and start this new journey in life with you. I promise to make you chorizo con papas or take you to get menudo whenever you're hungry. Love, Marissa. Marissa, today is the day we have talked about for so long. You look so amazingly beautiful. Since I was 15 years old, I had known that this day would be with you standing here in front of me. I can honestly say that I was blessed to have met my soulmate so well. Steven, who would have known freshman year in high school at Howland Camp I would have met the man I would spend the rest of my life with? The man of my dreams, the Mexican boy with braces that I thought spoke Spanish. <laughs> Steven, please know as your wife, I will be your cheerleader, your number one fan, your very best friend through all your goals and accomplishments, and stand by your side through all the good, the bad, and in between. Marissa, you are my best friend, confidant, the love of my life. I vow to provide you the life you deserve, the family you deserve, and most of all, the love you deserve. I will be your light when it is dark, your guidance when you are lost, your joy when you are sad, and hopefully sooner than later, the father to your children. Stephen and Marissa, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Like everybody says, I'm very blessed to have a beautiful family with a lot of love, a wonderful husband that came into our lives and has been the best, best father he could be to all my boys. You're officially my sister, and it makes me so happy. It's a blessing. I love you. After being together for so long, it's hard for me to give advice to the newlyweds. But a quote I heard a while back is, a happy marriage is the union of two forgivers. You must learn not to sweat the small stuff. Marriage is an absolute blessing, um, but you will have your not so lovely days.
The only thing that I couldn't picture this day without was my grandparents. I love you guys. Uh, more than you'll ever know, Grandma and Grandpa. Marissa, I'm glad to have you as my sister now. Steven, I'm very happy. You guys are doing great in life. Just bring me some uh, nieces and nephews, please. So I want to take care of them, all right? Other than that, I love you guys. Nothing but love, blessings, you know, everything like that. So welcome to the family, Marissa. And the next morning, we're at the stoplight, and Steve goes, hey, I'm like, what's up? He's like, hey, did you throw that rock yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> and thought I thought I was all cool. I was like, yeah, I did. He's like, oh, what's your name? Ever since then, best friends. <laughs> Weird. Everyone raise a glass to Steven and Marissa. I wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. Cheers.